Hey guys, Kimi here, back from a long hiatus from this series for several reasons. First, while I was organizing the script, I had an onslaught of losing comments because YouTube sucks, so I couldn't remember who asked for what. So I took people out of the list simply because I couldn't find the comment. Then I wanted to add a new rule. If you don't state a specific map part that you want me to review, I won't review you. This is just because it's hard for me to pick and I don't want to review something that you aren't proud of or you don't like because I want to be able to give you helpful advice and also maybe send a few subscribers your way, if that makes sense. So feel free to reapply, recomment. I'll add you to the list again as long as you have a map part for me to review. That goes for the people whose comments were deleted as well. So yeah, I went through and redid my list. I also wanted to make new sprites and an intro. Hope you like them. Then I had finals at the end of April and I got home for summer break and just did not feel like working on this. But now hopefully I'll be able to get these out a little faster. The first map part up is Glorious made by Creative Ninja Wolf. I just want to apologize for taking so long to get this out as this was like five months old. Sorry about that. I like the atmosphere and the colors used in this as well as the movement. I did notice in the first shot when the character lifts their head to look up, the size of the head kind of changes. This happens a lot in animation and also to me. <laughs> a lot. One thing that would help, and something I should get into the habit of doing as well, is drawing guidelines to where the motion stops to keep the proportion consistent. Other than that, this is a lovely part. I watched the completed map and it was great. I'm sorry I didn't get to it sooner. Congratulations on completing it though. Next is Melon Dog's When You're Good to Mama part. Like Glorious, this map was also completed and very well done, so go check it out if you haven't already. Your style is pretty cute, and I like the background colors on this. Your use of character design is also pretty good. I think maybe making Maple Shade move a little faster could help, or adding more of a tail flick from her as she leaves the shot would make it more fluid, I guess? Other than that, there really isn't much else animation-wise. For the backgrounds behind the three dark forest cats, maybe adding more forest details like silhouettes of trees or hills would add perspective. But since the focus is more on the characters than the background, I don't think it's quite as important. At least that's what I'd depend on when I save backgrounds for last in a map part, because usually they turn out bad when I do that. I can be a lazy bean sometimes. Next is Super Bunny 906's part, Proud Corazon. I really love how you use the colors and the lip sync is on point. It's simple but lively. The paw movement at the beginning does look a little unnatural with how it curves upward like that. Just a little anatomy issue, Google and referencing would help with that. Other than that, I think this looks great. You're kind of underrated too, so I made sure to subscribe. Hopefully, again, YouTube kind of sucks, and even if I press the button sometimes, it's like, nah, I don't wanna. Next is Howling Flames Take Me to Church, which made me hurt in the heart area a bit. I haven't read Ravenpaw's Farewell yet, but this part is beautiful and makes me want to cry. the walk cycle at the beginning and oh my god you made these backgrounds traditionally look at that guys i guess i'd say it's a little hard to see raven paul before he disappears i know with map parts you have limited time to animate everything you'd want to do and pacing things can be a little hard i'd recommend maybe taking a little more time somehow to show him he also kind of blends into the tree a little bit which makes him even harder to see finally we have possum animation something just like this part Like Super Bunnies, the lip sync is really good at the beginning. I think I could have been able to tell what the character was saying without listening to it, which can be hard to pull off with uh, proper lip sync. I think there are some issues with pacing. I couldn't really tell what was happening at the end instead of having the character slide over at GIFs. 
Have them slide the beginning of the word superhuman and let the audience see the character behind them longer than a millisecond. That character also seems to be floating. I don't know if they're supposed to be or just standing behind them, but you may want to add some grass or something under them. And if they are floating, add a shadow under them on the grass so that it still kind of looks like proportionally correct, I guess. Or pull this character up closer to the camera so that it takes up more space and it would be easier to hide the other character behind them for a more dramatic reveal, if that's what you were going for. So that's all for now. Sorry again for the massive procrastination fest I keep having with this series. I'll try to get right to work on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. <coughs> Especially the... What are you staring at? <laughs> are you okay? The paw movement at the beginning does look a little...